YouTube, 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 what's up? It's the day of your boy TSJ, Starbucks, Sniper, all that good shit. Yeah, I'm gonna make this real, real quick. This is, uh, I believe, episode five. I changed the name from Meet the Greek and I'm changing it to Show and Tell. I think that sounds better. You know, if you went to school, you used to have that Show and Tell, you had to show something, you had to tell a story about it, or whatever the case may be. So, I felt like it was the same thing with sneakers, so I'm gonna stick with that. But, on this episode, we got two shoes. Same color, same concept, just different models. Fire reds. Fire red threes. And fire red fox. Black tongue. I had the fire red fives with the green tongue too, but we get into these ones first. Now, honestly, there's no story behind either one of these. Uh, honestly, I just got them just to get them because they were available in my connect. I was getting mad shoot last year. He loved me. I was getting every month. I was getting a sneaker. Whether it was Jordan, LeBron, Kobe's, whatever the case may be. Every time I had a sneaker, I had the money for it, I would get it. And these fall in that area. Because honestly, they're not ugly. But I'm just not like a big fan of none of these. Like if I had to choose which one I like more, probably these. But I'm not a big fan of these neither. Like, I think the only reason I really got them, that they were them. I don't like three times maybe. One of these, is this the one? Yeah. I got a little juice thing on because I wore them to work and I was passing out juice to everybody. And the, the, as you know, I work in the nursing home. The uh, juice fell on the ground, fell on my sneaker. But I think I only got these ones because in high school when these came out, I wasn't really that much hype on them. The only thing I liked about it, honestly, was the hang tag was on it. And a black tongue, like, but some for some reason I don't like these. Cause yes, like I said, when I was younger, when I was 16, 15, I used to wear fakes. Yes, I'm not gonna deny it. But when I used to see the, I never knew these was real. Like, I'm, I was in the sneakers, but I didn't know all my facts and history or, any, or OG colorways, whatever you want to say. So I didn't know nothing about these until I was on fake sites and I seen them, and they used to have them pre yellowed and I'm like, the fuck is ugly as shit? Like, who would buy that? And that's when the real ones came out and they had a clear bottom, but it still didn't do nothing for me. So, the reason I got them out, like I told you, I just got them because they were there. Like, I hardly ever wear these. I wore them a times, but like three months apart. <laughs> these ones, I really am not a fan of these. Like, I got these only because the Katrina's never came out. And I passed on the, uh, the uh, 88 Retros, uh, Nike. You know, dunk contest, 88 virtual, Nike Air on my back. I only passed up on those because I felt as though paying 200 for that shoe was ridiculous. Because you're not paying for the shoe, you're just paying for the Nike logo. That's all you're paying extra for because 2010, I believe, when they released these, it might have been, no, maybe 2011, I'm not sure. I am just need to think. I had to trace back. Yeah, I believe it was 2011. It was 2011 when all the threes came out. Yeah, it was, because last year was a five, the year that was four, yeah. And when all the threes released, this one didn't come out, but the first colorway was a white Siemens, and nobody was buying it. They were sitting on racks. They was, like, literally going down, like, to clearance-type prices, like, and the only reason I didn't get them was because I had bills at the time. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't, like, pressed to get them, but when they first seen the packaging for the, for the box, the card, the elephant, the paper, the hang tag, all that shit. That was crazy. No, I ain't seen that. Like, I mean, that was the first Jordan since, shit, I don't know that they actually packaged it like that in the simple fact they were trying to make it look like, oh, that's why they did it because they were trying to make it look like the originals. Like, all that packaging, y'all always bitch about that type of shit. They give you everything you want and you still don't buy the shit. It's sitting on sale, right? So now it's when, as a sneaker thing becomes mainstream and comes so big, now, I can't find a pair of white cement under $300, which is ridiculous when I just told you they were going for all the prices. So when I found out that the 80 Retros was coming out and it was $200, I knew everybody's main focus was to beat up to get those because they don't want the Jumpman on the back. They want the Nike Air on the back. So I felt as though all the ones with the jump, Jumpman on the low, Jumpman logo on the back, those were going to be like ridiculously easy to cop for like. 150, 200, but I was wrong. They they go for 300 still too, so fuck it. I, I get them, I don't. But I was assuming I was getting rumors that the Katrina's was supposed to come out. Basically, the white cements, 
instead of it being instead of this being black, it's red. And I've been like watching my man's videos. I tell you that that shoe would haunt me because nobody knows anything about it. Like I don't know if it's the sample color, it was the original color that didn't come out or some shit because. It's on all of the retro cards. It's on, even on Chuckman 23 website, if you go through the history of his sneakers, the models, the shoot, the, the model three, the color that they show on the site, it's the Katrina color. It's only, I don't even call them Katrina, because from what I was told, they auctioned a few of them pairs off of that shit for the Katrina victim. So, why did they release them? I have no fucking idea, but this was the next best thing to get, but. I don't even wear them anymore, I really don't. I wore them like maybe three times. I wore these in the rain, so I don't know why these are not completely fucked up. I cleaned them up a little bit, but I mean, I didn't go ham on them, but I don't know. That's all I can say, but yes, as you know, today is the day. It's Saturday, April 5th, the day of sneaker time. So I will have footage finally. I got like four people coming with me that got that cameras and got phones and all that type of shit so it shouldn't be an excuse and I'm making sure I'm bringing my charger the time so it shouldn't be an excuse not to get no uh no footage and the reason why I'm even showing these in this episode is because I'm selling these when I go to sneaker time so y'all hit me up in the inbox uh comment all you want but if I don't if I don't I'm trying to sell these a sneaker out first because it's quicker because I just want to get rid of them as quick as I can but if I don't get if nobody buys these uh at Sneaker Con, uh y'all can hit me up then like I mean y'all probably still do it anyway, but I don't really want I don't want much for these like let me show you because everything is still intact. Like the price I'm giving up. Okay, I ain't gonna lie, this one, Jumpman is kinda rubbing off. This one, Jumpman's still intact. But both of these. Only the one twenty one. I said 240. Can't beat that. Like, I mean, you probably can find it anywhere else, but I don't think you can find a price for that. Like, I always see a very near and near fair stuff. Like, literally, you, you can barely tell that these have been worn. Like, they're in great condition. Both of them. So, 120, that's a steal. The only reason I'm charged, like, I don't feel as though to charge so much for these because the simple fact, like, these have been overly produced like crazy. They restocked these bitches like three, four times. I'm not, and still, I would never try to beat nobody in the fucking head. I beat this one back what I made, what I paid, or at least close to it. And these I'm selling too. I have no need for them. The ladies that you've seen, I think in episode two or three. Which one? I don't, which one? I don't know. I think it was episode two. But these are DS. I don't even believe I tried these on. I, I don't quote me because I really don't remember, but I know it. They didn't step, I didn't step on these in the own ground. I just, if I did try them on, I tried them on the house. So, these, I don't even want shit for these. I just want 170. Like, like, these were only produced too. I think mean, these were produced like, they were, I mean, they uh, restocked them like three times or something like that. I don't fuck around, but uh, I just realized I had that bitch in the pause all the time. But, only reason I'm showing these in the video that I'm selling them is because a lot of people last time I went to Sneaker Con, they actually knew me, which was crazy. Because y'all see, I don't get that many views. I only have 400 subscribers. Like, I don't have that many subscriptions or whatever. But just in case somebody may catch this video on the way to Sneaker Con or before Sneaker Con, y'all can see it. So you see me up there, you already know the prices. And you already, they all size 10 and a half. So, you already know what it is. You ain't gotta, I'm half like tag stuff on there, but if you see me, you already know what it is. So, you know, rate, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna get back to y'all later in the day with some footage from the internet.